Police are entitled to demand your name and your identification if you're being arrested or if you're getting a ticket. But in most other circumstances, you're not required by law to turn over your ID. And we have rules in Canada that protect people from just being randomly stopped, randomly harassed. But people often don't know their rights. This is tricky because the OPP can ask you for your identification. They can ask you for your name. And you have the legal right to say, no thanks, I'd rather not give it to you. There have been a number of situations involving the CBSA, the Canada Border Services Agency, in which people have been stopped and asked for identification in circumstances that don't justify it. CBSA was working with the Ontario Provincial Police to find what they call illegal immigrants, people who don't have documentation. CBSA made an arrangement with the OPP, the Ontario Provincial Police, in an area that has many racialized people, many migrants, many undocumented migrants and migrant workers, and they set up a checkpoint. And the OPP pulled people over to do vehicle checks. And then the OPP officers walked the documentation over to the other car that was sitting there at that CBSA car. I don't know how many countless people were stopped and ID demanded in ways that are unlawful. And 20 people were deported through what we believe is an unlawful action. Those people who were deported might have had the law behind them. They might have been able to say, hey, you weren't allowed to demand our ID in the first place. Once they're deported, how can they stand up for those rights? Critics complained about what had happened. Some agencies wrote to and met with the provincial government, and the Ontario government did a review and decided to end this program. The OPP will no longer be turning over information and doing random traffic stops in high migrant neighborhoods in order to turn over information to CBSA. The change happened because the media heard from people and heard from organizations and splashed it across the newspaper and let other people know who were also outraged and took further action. Change happened because people spoke out, got organized, and made a difference. And you can too.